I'm Jennifer Partridge, motivational speaker and empowerment coach. One of my fave methods to share is tapping. I see people's lives change every day with it. Join me in Dream Awake Tapping and let's awaken your dreams. And now I'm going to introduce you to the power points on your body that are going to help release all of that stagnant energy. So just underneath the collarbones here, you're going to just find a really sore spot. We store a lot of our emotion here. So we really like to start by massaging this. It really gets us in touch with that emotion. It's called the emotional well for a reason. Sometimes it's a sensitive place. So the next point, I usually like to go to the center of the chest. And a lot of people have questions when they're first starting with EFT, whether they should be tapping harder, softer, or massaging that part of the body. And quite truthfully, you can do any. Really don't wanna be slamming your body because you're going to be doing a lot of rounds. So just gentle percussive motions on that particular point is really gonna help clear that energy. And if you're not into tapping, you could also just massage that point as well. You're gonna get the same effect. Then I like to move between the brows. And while you're tapping on each point and you're doing your three-step process, you're going to also include some really deep breathing. And the power to breathing is it's also going to clear out the channels in the body, which are the meridians that are also connected to these points on your body. So the breath really helps to move the energy at a faster pace. And then I'm going to tap my temples. So let's just all do this together and just take a deep breath and release some sound. <sighs> Wonderful. So you'll start to see even just tapping the points, your whole nervous system starts to become relaxed. And we haven't even included the three step process. This is just really relaxing the body. And then we move down to the cheeks, underneath the nose, underneath the lips. Now it's good to know that all of these points that we're actually tapping on are linked to certain organs of the body and the organs are also holding emotions as well. So you're getting a bit of a detox on all levels, body, mind and spirit. And then I like to go back to the chest. So just tapping or massaging that center of the chest again. Then you find your way down to the front of the ribs. Now you'll also know there are several different types of tapping methods and some people use more points than others and some people use less. This particular method covers some additional points that other methods do not cover. Then I go to the side of the ribs which would be in alignment with the nipple and you can tap with the back of your hands or you can cross your body and tap like that as well. And then we come up to the wrist and I like to tap the wrist with all four fingers. That way you're getting all channels across the wrist. Some other tapping methods just recommend the corner, but I like to hit all corners. And then we create a karate chop type motion and you're going to hit the top edge of the thumb where the nail meets the edge. And now all of these points are actually linked to a larger line in the body, which is called a meridian. And this is basically sending electrical pulses through that meridian. And when there's a block in a specific meridian or energy line, these pulses are going to really help shake it up. And then as you breathe and do your back and forth with acceptance and pain and new visions, you're going to help restructure that emotional imprint that has been creating that challenge or that block in that particular meridian. Then we move to the middle finger, top corner where the nail meets the edge. And then bring your hand up to prayer as if you're going to do a half prayer. And then the next finger is the only finger that's on the opposite side. So you're going to gently tap the opposite side where the nail meets the edge. And then the inside once again of the little finger where the nail meets the edge. After you've done the round of fingers, you're going to just tap the side of the hand here. Let's all take a deep breath together. Wonderful. And then I'm going to come all the way up to the head. And what I like to do is really tap all around behind the ears, on the side of the head, as well as the roof of the head. A lot of tapping methods just tell you to tap on the top, but really we've got meridians that run all up through the head here. So we're going to give an extra good massage if we work our way around the head. After you've done the head, you'll just circle back down to the eyebrows and all the way down again. A really simple way to remember the tapping points is question mark. 
So that's what we're going to create on our body. We're going to create a big question mark. So we'll start between the brows, make our way around to the temples, curve it down the cheeks, come down underneath the nose, underneath the lips, come down to the center of the chest, front of the ribs, flick it up, and on the side of the ribs. So you created the first part of the question mark, then we create the big dot at the end of the question mark. And so we simply just hold our hand out as if we're creating a nice circle. We tap the wrist, and then we tap around, always starting in the very far corner, far corner, far corner. Remember this one, it's the only one to really remember opposite side of the next one on the ring finger inside corner once again and then on the back of the hand pointing it up and then shoot it up to the top all around the head so there's your big question mark and now you've got your answer a very simple way to know the tapping points Thank you so much for taking the time to learn more about the Dream Awake tapping process. If you want to go deeper, check out my book Dream Awake on Amazon or jenniferpartridge.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. I'm Jennifer Partridge and I'll see you soon. Now as we start to accept what's going on, we're able to actually melt all of that pain out of the system. Usually what happens is...